Hi guys, so I'm making this video to show uh, to show you guys that you can turn any kind of simple squiggly line into into a nice doodle um, simply by uh, dividing the space up. So basically I just drew a squiggly line. It was a random squiggly white line. I didn't think about it at all to start off with. Um, it turned out to be quite a nice little, a nice line and I made it quite curvy and so then I basically tidy up the line. Um, I used a sharpie and uh, it did, uh, did bleed a little bit on the paper so I'm using, uh, I have a set of uh, Stadler, Stadler or Stadler? Stadler uh, pigment liner pens. Uh, I've got a set of five of them uh, and they are great. I love them. Uh, I've got, uh, I think it's 0.05 to 0.8. I didn't use the 0 0.05, but I used the 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 on this piece and so yeah once i've got the line i then yeah like i say clean up the line a bit um and like you know round off the corners i don't i'm i like i like my work to be rounded i like the corners to be you know smoothed off and not sharp um that's just my own style really but once I've done that, I basically look at the space and see well, what can I do to that space? Well, how can I enhance that space? Some of the areas I work with, kind of the movement, there's already a movement, there, you know, uh, a flow. So I'll enhance that flow. In other areas, I'll divide it up. I'll put a circle in the middle and then see that actually if I divide that's the other bits of space up I can create yeah, all sorts of things really so um, yeah I'll stop rambling for a bit and let you watch what I do it's sped up obviously because it took me two hours to make this and it's not a two hour video uh, so yeah enjoy
So I think what uh, makes a piece interesting is the variety of marks, um, circles, and um, you know, as different different ways of dividing that space up. So and different uh, sizes of line. So there might be, I might have used the point one in some areas and then the point eight in other areas. I've used a different size of dot uh, in some areas and next to each other. So I've, I've used a point eight dot next to a point three dot. I've used, uh, yeah, say a point three line and then on the edge, end, end of those lines, I've used a, a, made a, a much thicker line. So it's thick, thin, it's the play of the variety that makes it look interesting, uh, makes the eye want to explore the space. Yeah, so if you, if you do the same thing in all of those areas, it's going to look a bit boring. If you mix it up, then you get interesting, you get something very interesting, yeah? So when you are, you know, I'd want to encourage you to make your own doodle. So, you know, and do it this way by just doing a random squiggly line and then divide that space up and see, you know, play with the different areas. So different areas can, will lend itself to different elements. So you might want to do some squares in some and you might want to do circles in others and you might want to do some triangles in others, you know. So really just divide that space up in and, and make it interesting. And the flow really works. You know, if, if um, I like to look at, you know, use use nature as an example. If you if you look at a, a tree or any plants, the leaves aren't all the same size. Or, in, in, you know, in, in a lot of uh, nature, you've got you've got a, 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 a gradual movement. And so you want to you want to you know use these kind of things, but I like I like to have a mix of I like my, my work. It feels like it's a mix between nature and a, you know human manufactured. It's kind of like a, a you know f is it factory made? Is it is it natural? You know, it's 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 somewhere in between, um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get is is. Is, is the mix between a, a machine and and nature, yeah? So, um, yeah, I mean, I hope you like what I've done. If I'd been making this as a piece of artwork, you know, to to, to use in whatever way, I, I, I would probably, I would spend another, probably another hour, more detail, tidy up the line, but uh, after two hours, I felt that that was enough. And I really just wanted this video to show you, you know, the possibilities, what you can do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, you know, please, um, you know, like, share, subscribe to my channel, and also leave a comment and tell me what you think. And if you want, if there's something artistic that you would like me to explore, to show you what you can do, then, you know, drop me a line, let me know put that in the comments box and so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.